All right, guys, you saw MDLR's fish lab. I want to show you my fish lab, right? There's not much to it. All right, man, here's one table and it has a bunch of junk on it. As you can see, we're doing a pan view of what goes on in my room, aka the fish lab. And uh, I got a bunch of junk on the ground, some hats and my drone and tackle box, stickers, mics, camera stuff. And a bunch of rods and reels right here. Yeah, yeah, not much. My little couch that you always see me uh, do my introduction and stuff. A trash can. My little fan when it gets hot. And another little table that holds my SD cards. Woo wee! And welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of RX Angler. So, you know what? A couple of you guys have asked me, how am I able to catch so many big fish? And post so many videos of me catching big fish, etc., etc., and that kind of nature. Just wondering, how am I able to get on a fish? Well, how can I put this? It's like, um, all right, let me just be blunt with you guys, all right? Don't believe everything you see on YouTube. <laughs> just like everything else, a lot of things are edited. Now, I'm not saying that my videos are a, a crock of lies. It's, it's not. The reality of fishing is you can get skunked a lot, all right? I mean, that's just... That's just the nature of the beast, right? Fishing, I know this is an old saying, a niche saying that a lot of you guys probably know. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. And it's absolutely 100% true. Most of the times I go out, okay, not most of the time, I would say about 40% of the time I go out, I catch fish. So obviously I have to go out a lot in order to produce these many videos in this much frequency and show you guys this, this many big fish I catch and stuff like that. Look, it's not always like that. And here is an example of the reality, the whole, the cold, the cold hard truth that sometimes fishing doesn't go always the way you think it should or you wish it should. So yeah, I don't always catch fish. So check this out. What's going on folks? Welcome back to another exciting episode of RX Angler. Today I'm at beautiful Matagorda. We are going to target flounder. That's the target species today. I don't know if that's going to happen because I haven't really seen much flounder or I have been catching flounder they've been just very very small so I don't know maybe we'll catch something a little bit bigger but that's the target species flounder if we hit trout redfish that's icing on the cake so you guys stay tuned I got my boy MDLR right there with us we're gonna see if we can make it happen today all right ladies and gents we are going to launch the boat right now we got some windy conditions it looks like a rolling front might be coming in soon but either way, we're here to fish, try to target flounder, uh, redfish and trout and croaker and whiting and whatever else is good for me too. I'm not too picky. No one's home. Just a little bit, a couple of baits jumping around here and there. Not they're being attacked, but just doing their acrobatic stuff. But I have a feeling there could be a, a redfish around here. Just kind of hunting. I just have this eerie feeling. We might see something soon, like a blow up. Oh, there we go. That's a fish. That's a trout. Yep, right there. Saw him move. Oh, it's a redfish. I thought it was a trout. That's a smaller red. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Come on in. You're almost slot. Gave me a little nice fight. For sure in Louisiana, you'd be a nice slot red. Look at that folks, first fish today, this morning, on the white paddle tail, beautiful fish, I would say he's about 18 inches, but we're going to let him go, there you go my man, there we go, there's another fish, another small red, they're hitting this white color paddle tail, they're not big dudes, but at least we're catching something, there we go, nice little red fish, I am happy to catch these guys, man. Fishing is fishing, folks. We ain't trying to fish a tournament right now. <laughs> Beautiful, dude. Thanks, bro. Hey, bro, are those decoys over there? Where? Ahead of us, about my one o'clock. Right yeah, but they can camouflage well in that marsh. Those look like decoys to me, just sitting there. You sure? Oh sh! Oh my God! You see that flounder? flounder you, right you see that flounder? Oh my God! Hold on, hold on. Arx, I'm gonna try to catch this mother. 
All right, he was right here, folks. There was a flounder that just jumped out of the air. I'm anchoring now. Yeah. All right, first one to catch it. Uh, the loose, the loser buys lunch. <laughs> That'd be funny. If we both don't catch it. All right, here we go. We are going to micro-size people. See if that helps out with a bite. See if they want to hit a smaller profile shrimp looking bait. Okay, ladies and gents, hopefully y'all, I was able to catch that my GoPro froze. But this is my first keeper flounder today. He's probably right at the 14 inch marker. Very nice, beautiful guy. Hit him on the micro lure, the shrimp imitation. And let's just get a measurement for good safety measures, I guess. Make sure we are in legal compliance. And yeah, he's 14 and a half inch. Check it out, 14, between a quarter, 14 and a half. But you know, he's right at that Texas game warden size where if we brought it in, it's a good chance he might shrink. So we're gonna let this guy go, but beautiful. He has some nice fillets on him too. This will be a nice Korean dish for all my Korean peeps that watch my channel. You guys are probably getting mad at me for throwing a hundred dollars worth of flounder away. But there you go, buddy. And first keeper today, very, very happy was using a paddle tail and uh, I caught a couple of sl a small little rat reds but decided to micro size because I'm not really seeing any bait and uh, sure enough flounder was uh, I was targeting and flounder is what I got on the micro bait so I'm gonna keep using this bait until I can't catch anything anymore and then we'll move on this Paul Brown is a catch a lure before you catch a fish that doesn't make sense what if it doesn't catch a lure before you catch a fish if this lure does not catch a fish before you catch one I already caught one. <laughs> oh, I'm meaning right here. Oh, in this in this channel. This is the money spot. Oh, over there, blow up. It's the money that was a blow up. That looked like a, tr a flounder. We're on that grass line at the apex. Oh yeah. He just jumped. I saw him. It's shallow there though. You're trying to set me up. The only thing I'm gonna catch there is grass because my lure is a beetle. Doesn't catch fish. Doesn't catch retarded protein. That's a fish. Yeah. There we go. There's a fish. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we're catching flounder, but they're not trophy flounders, but they're still out here and they're my they're hitting the micro sized bait as I told you guys. This guy's probably about ten inch, but still very happy to catch these guys, man. It's good to see them out, especially after all these hard cold, cold fronts. That we've been having oh you son of a look at that guys like that. beautiful nice iphone hasn't gone off yet there we go there we go that's another small flounder hey yeah boy they're not monsters but they're flounder you know what i mean this is about 12 inches it's about 12 inches nice flounder on the micro bait Another about 10, maybe 11 inches. Nice flounder. There we go. There we go. That's a small red. <laughs> Man, that's the smallest red today. I think I win the small fish contest, bro. Nick, my croaker was bigger. Was it really? <laughs> this is a croaker too. <laughs> Nice little dude, check it out, man. <laughs> I only catch big fish, bro. All right. There you have it, folks. I'm telling you the truth. It's not always glamorous when I go out fishing. I just put a lot of time on the water. When you put a lot of time on the water, there's a good chance that you'll end up hooking up with a big fish. That's what you see most of the time on my video, on my channel, that I'm always putting a lot of time out on the water. Don't be duped by these YouTube fishermen. I'm just telling you the truth, guys. What you saw in today's video is usually what really happens majority of the time. We try our best to go out and catch fish, bring some great entertainment to you guys. And even though that you guys might think that I didn't get skunked on this video, even though I did catch one keeper flounder, honestly, I know deep inside, I feel like I did get skunked because it's not the quality of fish that I'm always, or not always bringing, but most of the time bringing to the channel for you guys to watch. But, you know, that's just reality. I mean, fishing is tough. Being a YouTube fisherman is tough. Going out, putting the time out on the water to produce good video, to catch good fish, good content. 
for you guys to enjoy during your lunchtime or when you're sitting on the toilet or whatever, um, it's hard to do. And uh, as I reinstated earlier in the video, 40, around 40, a little bit over, I would say 45% of the time, I'm doing, or I'm catching fish like you just saw me today in today's video. I just wanted to post it so just to be transparent so you guys see that it's not always butterfly and rainbows, man. It, it's tough, man. It's tough being a YouTube fisherman and it's tough catching fish. Uh, I mean, maybe because I'm just not as good as you guys out there, but all, all in honesty, I'm no professional. I'm no better than you guys out there. I mean, I just put more time out in the water and I get lucky sometimes. I don't know, but do you like this type of video, guys? Do you like my, my honest, honest assessment of things, especially when it comes to YouTube fishing? Um, like I said, I try to be transparent most of the time. No, no, no. Let me take the back. I try to be the transparent 100% of the time, and I just want to be honest with you guys. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you sitting through this very, very, very cringy video. I love every single one of you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.